Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. As you all know, on this channel, we cover different type of interview question asked in various placement and job interviews. So subscribe to our channel if you want to prepare for your upcoming interview. So today we have a question which has been asked a lot of time in, in the interviews of JP Morgan or Goldman Sachs. So let's understand what is that question. Suppose you have a random generator machine and when you press the button of that random generator machine, it generates a number between 0 to 1, right? So now the question is on an average, how many times you need to press the button so that the sum of the number which you have got exceeds one. I hope you understand the question. So let's understand with the help of an example. Let's assume that there is a random generator. On the first press, we got a number 0 0.3. On the second press, we got a number 0 0.53. So sum till now is 0 0.83, which is still less than one. So the third press, you get the number 0 0.6. The total sum is 1.3, which is greater than 1. So here you have used three trials to get the number whose sum is exceeding 1. So now in the question, we need to calculate the expected number of such trials or press to get the sum greater than 1. Let's see how we can go about this. But before that, find out our ebook on quant interview questions that are being recently asked in top forms. Please find the link in the description box or from the pinned comment. It will be very, very useful for your upcoming interview preparation. Now back to the question. Let's assume that fx is a function which tells the average number of presses so that the sum of the number exceeds x. So in this question, we need to calculate f of 1 because we wanted to get the number of trials such that the sum exceed 1. That is why we need to calculate f of 1. Assuming that on the first press we get a number t and this number will be between 0 to 1, right? Because it is a random generator machine which generate a number between 0 to 1. Here we have already pressed one time and we got t. Now we need to calculate the number of press to reach x minus t. Hope you are able to see how we have broken down the problem. So fx equal to 1. Why? Because we have already pressed it once. Plus, we need to calculate the expected number of press to get x minus t because we have gotten t in the first trial. Now, we will transform the variable by putting t as a x minus t. It is as easy as like transforming the integration. After transformation, we will get fx equal to 1 minus ft dt integration from x to 0. Right. Now, how do we go about this? We will use our high school concept of newton Leibniz theorem. If you don't know, just Google it. You will be able to understand it. We have studied in the 12th class. So we will differentiate with respect to x via newton Leibniz theorem. And this is what we will get. So what is this? f dash x equal to fx. So this is a very easy integral to solve, right? What would be the function? It would be e raised to the power x. Now we need to calculate f of 1. That is where we will replace x with 1 and the answer is e. So the expected number of press which we need to make so that the sum exceed 1 is e. I hope you have learned something new from this video. I will meet you on the next one. Till then keep learning and keep watching.